Hello, and welcome back to DRC News at 7. I'm Candace Wilson, here with hip-hop sensation P. Killa in her studio in sunny Southern California, talking about her new album, Killa Beats. So, P. Killa, what was the motivation behind your new songs? Yeah, I want you all to buy my new album, because ain't no other rapper can do what I can on the mic, son. My producer, Del Scully, is the bombest beat maker in the world. And there's a free DVD inside the LP jewel case about me growing up in Jordan Downs. That's right, Deep Watts LA, son. Shouts to my label, Death Collector Records. What? So, P. Killer, what was the motivation behind your new songs? What's my motivation? What's anybody's motivation in America, Trick? Money! I'm also here with the representative of Keeping Christians Christian, Esther Smith. So, Esther, tell us about your nonprofit group's message. Well, thank you, Miss Wilson. I always watch your show. I feel so fortunate to be here. Very fortunate. Tell us about KCC's mission. Well, KCC is an organization that reaches out to you about, well, Christian values. And we've just completed a recording studio at our headquarters in sunny Compton, California, that teaches teenagers to record music that, well, Jesus would listen to. <laughs> and we feel that musicians such as P. Killa are sending the wrong message to our youth today. So we reach out and give them help and uh, moral guidance. P. Killa, what's your response to Esther's comments about influence on youth? What? That's not his car, Denisha. That's your car. You can't let him drive it and run up no parking tickets. Hell no. Now, if you want me to come over there and drop a wet T-shirt on this ass. <laughs> oh, no, the hell he didn't diss my album. Oh, hell no. Well, thank you for joining us tonight, Esther Smith of the Keeping Christians Christian Organization. Well, thank you, Miss Wilson. Thank you very much for having me. And thank you, P. Killa, and best of luck on your new album. DRC News will be back after this.